Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel Dhyani Classes. If you are watching my video for the first time, do subscribe my channel, hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever new video will be uploaded. So in today's video, we will cover the second part of the chapter, A Tramp of Surgery, written by James Harriet from Class 10th CBSE. So let's get started. So in the first part of the chapter, we have seen that the doctor advised Mrs. Pumphrey that her dog must be hospitalized and then she became very sad because she don't want to leave her dog alone in thinking that she will not be able to see her dog for two weeks and thought that her dog would also feel alone and then her dog would become more sicker if he did not see his mistress every day. So she became very sad while thinking all about this. But at the same time, the doctor also understood that it is necessary to take Tricky to the hospital and this is the only one way to save his life. So let's, let's look at the second part of the chapter with line by line explanation now. Butter took a firm line, so the narrator took a firm line, that means he took a very strong decision and went straight to Mrs. Pumphrey's house because Tricky was very ill and this was the only way to save him. So when he reached the house, the doctor said to Mrs. Pumphrey that Tricky is very ill and we have the only way to save him that you must hospitalize him as soon as possible other than we would not be able to save him anymore and says, in fact, I thought it best to take him without delay and followed by Mrs. Pumphrey's wailing. So the doctor also advised her that this is the best time to take him to the hospital without further delay and says followed by Mrs. Pumphrey's wailing. That means at the same time Mrs. Pumphrey was also crying out loud because she did not want to leave her dog at any cost but I marched out to the car carrying the little dog wrapped in a blanket. So the doctor marched out to the car. That means he started walking towards his car very quickly carrying the little dog wrapped in a blanket. So the doctor took a dog immediately and covered it in blanket and quickly ran towards the car because he had to hospitalize Turkey as soon as possible and this was the only one way to save him. Further, he says the entire staff was roasted and made rust in and out, bringing his day bed, his night bed, favorite cuisines, toys and rubber rings, breakfast bowl, lunch bowl, supper bowl. So as you know that Mrs. Pumphrey was a rich lady. So as soon as the doctor picked up Tricky and ran towards the car, immediately maids of the house came into action and rushed in and out, bringing his day bed, his night bed, favorite cuisines, that means favorite mats and clothes and toys, rubber rings, breakfast bowl, lunch bowl and supper bowl. So they took all those items and put them into the car because Tricky was going to be hospitalized for two weeks. Realizing that my car would never hold all the stuff, I started to drive away. So as soon as he saw mates, he realized that my car would never hold all the stuff. That means he understood that his car cannot hold all these kinds of stuff of the dog and says I started to drive away. That means he started moving away from the Mrs. Pumphrey's house and left all the stuff behind and says as I moved off, Mrs. Pumphrey with a despairing cry threw an armful of the little coats through the window. So here the narrator is saying that as I moved off, that means as he started moving away, suddenly Mrs. Pumphrey with a despairing cry, that means she was crying out loud when the doctor took away her lovable dog and says she threw an armful of the little coats through the window. That means Mrs. Pumphrey came closer to the car and she had some coats of the dog and uh, she while crying she threw all the coats of the dog from the window. Further he says I looked in the mirror before I turned the corner of the drive everybody was in tears. So here he is saying that when he turned his car he looked in the mirror and saw everybody was in tears that means everybody including maids and other staff was crying because Turkey was taken to the hospital for treatment and says out on the road I glanced down at the pathetic little animal gasping on the seat by my side. So when he was driving a car on the road he was thinking about the dog and then I glanced down at the pathetic and little animal dog that means he looked at Tricky and at that time he was in a very bad condition and gasping on the seat by my side. So even Tricky was not able to sit properly on the seat but somehow he manages to sit just behind the doctor. So glance down means look down and pathetic means very poor and bad and says I patted the head 
and Tricky made a brave effort to wag his tail. So as you know that the narrator was a vet and he knew how to deal with animals. So as Tricky was looking very poor, then the doctor patted the dog's head and then Tricky made a brave effort to wag his tail. So that means Tricky, Tricky became very happy and then he wagged his tail courageously. Poor old lad, I said, you haven't a kick in you but I think I know a cure for you. So while driving a car, he called the dog as poor old lad, that means helpless poor dog and said, you haven't kick in you but I think I know a cure for you. That means he said that I know you are not able to walk or eat by yourself and you are feeling no energy at all but I know a cure. That means I will provide you the best treatment and I know how to make you feel more energetic and hungry for food and says at the surgery the household dog surged around me. So when he reached the surgery that means when he reached the hospital or a clinic the household dog surged around me. So there were many dogs in the hospital when the doctor reached there and all dogs came closer to him because they were familiar with the doctor and says Tricky looked down at the noisy pack with dull eyes and when put down lay emotionless on the carpet. So here he is saying that Tricky looked down at the noisy pack with dull eyes that means there were many dogs and they were making noises and then Tricky looked at these dogs with dull and tired eyes and he did not show any emotion or energy at all and then lay emotionless on the carpet that means he just lay down very quietly without making any movement at all on the carpet. Further he said the other dogs after snipping round him for a few seconds decided he was an uninteresting object and ignored him. So the narrator is saying that the other dogs after snipping round him that means the other dogs who were there at the clinic came closer to Tricky and started smelling him for a few seconds and decided that he was an uninteresting object and ignored him. So the other dogs understood that this Tricky is not interesting or energetic at all because at that time he was very ill and unable to show any emotion to them and then all the dogs started ignoring him and moved away from him. So snipping round means smelling or an uninteresting object means boring or unexciting and says I made up a bed for him in a warm loose box next to the one where the other dog slept. So later on he is saying that I made up a bed for him that means the narrator made a bed for the tricky in a warm box near the other dogs at the clinic. For two days I kept an eye on him giving him no food but plenty of water. So here the narrator is saying that for two days I kept an eye on him that means he was observing Tricky very closely and how he is reacting and all and saying giving him no food but plenty of water that means the doctor gave him lot of water for two days but did not give him anything to eat and says at the end of the second day he started to show some interest in his surrounding and on the third day he began to whimper when he heard the dogs in the yard. So here he is saying that he was giving him plenty of water for two days and says at the end of the second day he started to show some interest in his surrounding that means he started moving or started walking and on the third day he began to whimper when he heard the dog in the yard. So on the third day he started moving very slowly and crying in a low voice that means he started growling at the other dogs. So earlier he was so lethargic and showed no interest at all but now he started responding to the other dog in the surgery. So whimper means cry softly or groan in a fear. Further he says when I opened the door Tricky trotted out and was immediately engulfed by Joy, the Greyhound and his friends. So here he is saying that when I opened the door Tricky trotted out that means when the doctor opened the door where Tricky was taking rest he started moving forward and showing some interest and then immediately engulfed by joy and greyhound that means immediately he started moving towards one of the dogs breed joy and the greyhound and his friends. So where so there were many dogs in his clinics and they all came to see Tricky and all of them surrounded him. So trotted means crowd to move forward slowly and says after rolling him over and thoroughly inspecting him the dogs moved off down the garden. That means the other dog came closer to Tricky and rolled him over and thoroughly inspected him that means the other dog just went around him 
and smelling him to know more about him and then the dogs moved off down the garden so after inspecting him the other dogs ran from there and moved to the garden tricky followed them rolling slightly with his surplus fat so here tricky started showing interest when he saw other dogs and then tricky followed them that means tricky also started running or moving with them and rolling slightly with his surplus fat so as he was moving with the other dogs he was looking as if he was rolling just like a bundle of carpet on the ground because of his overweight so surplus fat means overweight or extra fat and says later that day i was present at feeding time so later on that day the doctor was present there when tricky was eating and it was the time when he used to eat or having its food and says i watched while tristan slowed the food into the bowls so here the narrator is saying that when tricky having its food he was looking at one of the dogs breed tristan and slowed the food into the bowls that means at that time the narrator was putting the food into the bowls for all the dogs so slowed means overflow or spill further it says there was the user had long rush followed by the sounds of high speed eating so here the narrator is saying that there was a usual headlong rush that means as soon as the doctor served the food into the bowls all the dogs came quickly and because of they wanted to eat and then they started eating food very quickly followed by the sound of high speed eating that means they were making licking sounds while having food and says every dog knew that if he fell behind the others he was liable to have some competition for the last part of his meal so every dog knew that he had to go quickly and have his food otherwise he was liable to have some competition that means if he didn't finish finish his food fast then the other dogs would come and eat his food or the last part of his meal so he found, he had to finish his food very fast so every dog started hurrying to eat their meal when they had finished the tricky took a walk around the shining bowls licking casually inside one or two of them so all the dogs started eating a meal and they were eating very quickly and says when they had finished that means when they had their meal tricky took a walk around the shining bowls so tricky also started walking towards the shining shining bowls but at the same time there was no food in them and then licking casually inside one or two of them that means he started licking one or one or two bowls so slowly he was showing some interest in eating food and he started feeling hungry because the doctor did not give him anything to eat except water and says next day an extra bowl was put out for him and i was pleased to see him jostling his way towards it so on the third day the doctor put an extra bowl for him and when he was in the bowl he started jostling his way towards it that means he started coming towards the bowl with great difficulty and then he says that i was pleased to see him so the doctor became very happy that at least the dog is feeling better now and he started moving moving here and there and feeling hungry just like other dogs so this is the end of the second part of the chapter a tramp of surgery written by james heriot let's look at the third part of the chapter in my next video for more informative videos do subscribe my channel hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever new video will be uploaded so thank you so much for watching once again stay safe stay healthy